show you how to tie JJ Special. Kind of a variation on a woolly bugger. Works great though. We've got a 710 size 6 streamer hook on the vise with a large solid brass cone. I'm gonna take several turns of 035 lead. You can weight this according to your water conditions or what you prefer. I'm just gonna tighten up the lead. Push the lead into the cone. And then we'll start with some 140 denier UTC in this case. I'm going to bring the thread through the lead, sink it down to the shank pretty good, come back, several good turns there. Super glue. Getting a little clogged in the nozzle there. Okay. And we're just going to let that. Okay, now that the glue has dried our lead wraps in place, I've re anchored the thread just behind the lead. We're going to take a single. Blood quill marabou in yellow, about the length of the hook shank to hold and snap. Loop and lash that down. Bring the wraps forward just to even out the body up to the point where the lead wraps begin. <coughs> Followed with the brown marabou right on top of that. crystal flash. You can certainly experiment there and season to taste as we say. So I'm just going to fold that over each side of the marigold tails. Trim the lengths. Got a small copper rib we'll use as a counter wrap for the hackle. <clears throat> Copper brown chenille, large. Bring that forward a little bit so you don't get as much of a bump. Solid yellow. And set them up in pairs so we can tie them in two at a time. And you just want to lay that across the top of the shank. Do a little X pattern. A few turns in each direction. Figure eight. And we're going to come forward. Same thing in the front. Sometimes a little tricky to get that set on top. And you get your legs kind of sitting in the right direction. Just 
going to put a couple half hitches in there to <clears throat> set the bobbin in place. And then we'll use a rotary vise just to wrap the chenille forward. And I just use my fingers to tap the rubber legs out of place and keep the wraps coming forward. Coming in behind the cone. Tie off the chenille. Trim the end. Just gonna try to set that down behind the cone a little bit with a few wraps. And we have a nice grizzly schloppen. Saddle hackle certainly works fine here, but Slapping's nice when you can get it. So then reverse wrap the hackle rear to the rear of the fly. Grab your copper rib, bring it up underneath, grab that hackle, and I'll put a couple wraps right at the tail there, and then start bringing the rib forward, counter ribbing the schloppen, that's substantial strength so it doesn't tear off after the first couple fish. <clears throat> Grab that copper rib with the thread bobbin. Couple forward, couple back. And I'll just try to fatigue this. There we go. legs to length. Separate. JJ Special. Great variation on a wooly bugger pattern. Certainly appropriate for this time of year. Have at it. Thanks for watching.